everyone, welcome to Bella TV. Jennifer here, and I am at the beautiful Century Flatiron rooftop. This is a very exciting day because we are celebrating our May and June Beauty and Pride issue cover party. I am joined by none other than James Vincent, who graced our first ever Pride cover. I thought I was on the beauty cover. <laughs> what? You, you are beautiful. Thank you. You look fabulous. Thanks. Well, I'm a supermodel now, thanks to Bella Magazine. You are. You're a I cover star. I didn't get out of bed for like less than $10,000 <laughs> a day. But you're a very special cover star because this is our first ever Pride issue. How does it feel being on the cover of the Pride issue? Um, it's a huge honor. I'll be honest with you. I'm a makeup artist. I'm always on the other side of the camera. And when Vanessa asked, I said no. And then she tried to talk me into it, and I said no. Um, and then she explained to me why she was asking me, and I said, yes, it's an honor um, and a privilege, you know, to be on the premiere Pride issue to represent my makeup community and my queer community um, and to do it with Bella Magazine, who is such a part of my family, and I'm so inspired by what Vanessa and the team do every issue. It really just made me feel like this you know, this fat, weird little kid from the smallest state in the country who never thought I would even know anyone on a magazine, let alone be working with a magazine and, and be on the cover for Pride, you know? <laughs> it's kind of like the Pride American story. I don't know. Yeah. What has the, the feedback been like since you released the photos? People are pretty surprised that I am on a <laughs> magazine. Um, probably, you know, I'm... I uh, initially said to Vanessa, like, let me do it with some of my makeup artist family. So it's a bunch of us. And she said no. So <laughs> <laughs> I said to my husband, you know, I, I don't want to be on the cover of a magazine. And Jeremy said, no, you don't want people to think you want to be on the cover of a magazine. You totally want to be on the cover <laughs> of a magazine. And so it's uh, it's really surreal. Yeah. Um, and people, I, I think, are are uh, excited by it and I, it's created a lot of talk in my community about seeing models of size and shape and color you know to have a, a mixed guy who's fat and tattooed and bearded on a beauty and pride issue is I think kind of where we are in representation and inclusion right now and I like that I'm part of amplifying those conversations and that Bella magazine is so open to it. Well, I have to touch on, since you mentioned it, the photos, the look of the images. Yeah. You had a lot to do with that. You mm -hmm. were very vocal about the, the feel of the shoot. And I love it because it isn't your typical, you know, there's not a ton of color. There's no rainbow. It's mm -hmm. black. It's edgy. It's moody. But it's stunning. So where did that come from? <laughs> um, <laughs> I kind of only wear black. <laughs> yeah. I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> it's kind of my uniform. And uh, I like to work with young designers. I like to wear with, work with queer designers and designers who are people of color. And I think that my look looks like the streets of LA and New York where I came up and the clubs where I came up. And I, I'm a, I work in fashion. I key 12 shows a season in New York City. I key shows in Ever London, Paris, Milan. But I think individuality is so much sexier and confidence and you know inclusion. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So the look is very much kind of me, but I am not responsible for it. Vital is the photographer who came up with the entire idea. We've known each other for years. He's such a genius. His work appears in Harper's Bazaar and Vogue, and then he's shooting me, <laughs> you know, on a <laughs> rooftop in New York City. And so he really, I think, captured so much of who I am in the images. I can't take credit for that. But to be able to create with someone who I respect so much, like Vital and Vanessa and then Lauren doing my makeup, you know, it's like these full <laughs> circle moments with some of my favorite people. Well, it looked absolutely amazing and people have been loving it. And we are so proud to have you on the first ever Pride cover. So thank you so much for being here. Thank and you. I hope you enjoy tonight and take it all in. Thank you. I'm probably your longest interview because I'm a talker. Thank you. <laughs>